Hey everybody, this is Jonathan, and today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to put and apply some common effects to your tracks and to your song using the plugins built in with Logic Express. So in order to get to these, you go over to Inserts, and you click on this box, and a bunch of drop-downs come up, and all these are different plugins that come standard with the program. So I've already gone over the amp designer and the pedal board and all that stuff, so I'm going to go ahead and go down to Delay. There are several different types of delay, and they all are good for the different applications that you're looking for, but the main one that I use is stereo delay. When this box opens up, there's a bunch of different options to choose from, and there's some that are very standard throughout different plugins, and one of those is mix. What this is asking is how much you want this effect mixed into your song. So the higher it is, the more mixed in and prominent that effect will be compared to less. The left and the right is just what speaker or what output it is, like headphones, speakers, whatever. And this beat sync button up here at the top is actually very helpful. What it is is it just allows you to put the song and your delay right in sync with your tempo. All right, so when you go and look over here, there's these music notes, and this just changes how fast and how slow the intervals are of your delay. So they have half, quarter, eighth, and sixteenth notes. So it's just basically saying how fast the delay is going. This feedback here for left and right is just how much it feeds back, how long it'll last in, how loud it is. And this high cut, low cut bar here is just a place to be able to alter and change the sound of your delay, whether you want it to sound more dry or more wet. All right, so moving on, I'm gonna go ahead and go down to dynamics. So one another very important and common plugin is a compressor. And what this does is it allows you to put a threshold onto your song so that audio peaks don't make that big of a deal in your song. So that basically what this is doing is it's putting all of your audio levels on an equal playing field and also for your track. So it's another way to limit the sound maximum, I guess, threshold for your song in another way other than just changing the volume of it. Just below dynamics there's EQ, which is equalization, and there are also several different types of EQ, and the main one that's used in this program and the main one that I use is channel EQ. So I'm going to open that up. What EQ is, is it's a place for you to be able to alter and change the sound of your instrument. So, so you have a snare drum and you want it to have more attack or more punch, this is where you're gonna go. This is how you change all the different things like that, like you can change the treble or the bass with a guitar or bass guitar, so the EQ is very helpful and allows you to alter the sounds of your instruments. Moving down, there is plugins under metering, and they're very helpful also. There's a BPM counter, which is a beats per minute, and what this does is, say you record something into the program and you don't know exactly what tempo it is. You go ahead and turn on this plugin and you play your track, and it'll tell you exactly what BPM that track is and what the song is. So that's very helpful in order to allow you to figure out what tempo your song is. And also, under metering, there is a tuner, and this just allows you so you don't have to like unplug your instruments and go find a tuner or something like that, it's just directly through the program, and you can tune directly through the program, which is really cool. And it's very accurate and works very well, and there's also this button that says precision, and when you click on that, it basically narrows down the sense here so it's an even more accurate tuner. Underneath metering, there's modulation. And this is a place where you're going to find tons of effects to alter the sound of your instruments. And some of these are also found in the pedal board with pedals that correspond to the same effect. The difference is that these ones just have a bunch more options to choose from to change the different sounds of that effect. So as you can see, there are a lot more than there would be with that same pedal in the pedal board. And once again, this output mix it's just a place in order to change how much it's mixed into your song. And 
under modulation there are a bunch of different effects that have really really cool sounds to give your song tons of different feels and sounds to fit what you're looking for and fit the sound that you're going for all right so underneath modulation there's pitch and there are a few different ones here but the main one and one that is very helpful is pitch correction so when you go and click on this it brings out this box and what this is is a place to correct vocal pitch generally so say I have a song that's in D major I go ahead and click under scale and I click major scale then I go to root and I click there and I click D and now when I after I've recorded vocals I turn this on it will correct my vocals to be completely accurate and as it's playing it'll show you a live correction amount here on this bar so this works very well it's a pretty nice pitch correction uh, plugin so definitely very helpful for a standard plugin with this program underneath pitch there's reverb and this is one that's extremely common through songs and reverb basically just allows you to put more of an ambience uh, give your song like a more feel of space it's just kind of like a echo almost like if you're in a big cathedral or something like that or in a cave it, it allows you to fit those effects so I'm gonna click on platinum verb and as you can see there's tons of options to choose from and once again it has output and this just allows you to change the sound of it and how much output it is into your into that track but other options such as like the room size that's very helpful and you can also change the shape of the room so there are plenty of options to get the exact sound of reverb that you're looking for so no loss there in the reverb plugins but throughout all of these there are a couple buttons that are within each plugin and that is this bypass button and what that does is it allows you to bypass it so as you see when I click bypass it blacks out down over here so that means that for now it's just bypass on that track so you can basically see what it sounds like with or without it also there is the copy button so if you have a couple tracks and you want the exact same effects you can just press copy then go to your other one and press paste so you don't have to like go and figure out all the different ones and retype them in so a hot key to be able to bypass is if you hold down option or alt it and you're over here by the inserts this little figure thing for your clicker will show up and you can click and it just bypasses it right like that but I hope that this has helped you out quite a bit and these are just things that help me out and are things that I've seen that are very common as plugins and applications for songs but if you have any questions or comments just go ahead and let me know and I uh, definitely be willing to answer your questions so thanks again for watching See you soon. Bye.